yeah, the people are what made me fall in love with Brazil. Um, the culture is just so open and loving, and it's like I don't know. There's there's just this different feel that they're really family oriented and. It's just, it's so different from here. People are a lot louder and they have a lot more energy, I would say, than Americans do as well. Um, a lot of the time, uh, well, they just the way the structure and the, um, like the buildings and stuff were, it wasn't, they didn't have glass windows. Um, they were, there were lots of walls and different things that, that were up. Um, but they kind of have a culture of sharing, like basically what, what's yours is mine kind of a thing. And you kind of get that with the, with the different elders too. Uh, the Brazilian elders were very much like, you know, they, they would eat everyone's food or like they'd, def they'd always be like, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead and eat my food. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that was something to get used to because it's so much different. Uh, us as Americans, like we're used to being like, oh, I bought this and this is mine and I keep it, you know? So, but it, it was so cool. The culture was also very Catholic, I would say, um, in general. And the hardest part, probably just with the culture, was maybe getting them to commit. Um, because they were always really friendly and they never wanted to disappoint you. And so like you invite them to do something like, oh yeah, definitely, like I, I wanna be there, like I'm gonna come to church and I'll read and do all these things. And, and you know, then you have to go and follow up with them. And they're like, oh yeah, I said I was gonna do that, huh? Like, yeah, you know, you know, I'm gonna do that though. I'm still gonna do that, you know? But you kinda have to keep up with them um, because they never wanted to disappoint you. But so like they'd always tell you that they wanted to do something, but you, you kinda have to help them along. Um, but also just with uh, going to church and different things, they, there are lots of phrases that they say, like, see Deus keys there, like, oh, if, if God wants me to, I'll go. And, and you know, and it's basically just kind of like an excuse to, to like not go. Cause a lot of time we're just like, well, you know, God wants you to go, or like, what, why wouldn't God want you to go? Like, you know, what, what do you think God would put in your way of going to church? Or they'd say, they'd say, uh, see now chivesu in if it's not raining. <laughs> if it's not raining, I'll go. You know, so that they 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 had these uh, typical excuses that they would say. I thought it was really funny, uh, very cultural. They they had their go-to uh, excuses. They always loved feeding people. <laughs> you know, even just going door to door, there someone would be like, "Oh, hey, we're making we're making this. Would you want some?" Or like, hey, "We just made some juice. Like, you you want some?" Um, the food was so good. I loved it because it seemed like well, it was all homemade. People wouldn't eat out like we do here, except for maybe in the richer areas they had a McDonald's. <laughs> but usually it was like the the really rich people that would go there because McDonald's was way more expensive. Um, but just your your basic family, like the mom would always make. Uh, it was always rice and beans was at every meal. Usually there'd be chicken and, you know, their salad. But their salad was usually just tomatoes, um, not really lettuce. Um, but it was so good because every mom or every home kind of had a different twist on the way that they would make the rice and the beans. So it never tasted exactly the same. And so I liked that part too. Because um, in the MTC, it was rice and beans. But it was the same rice and beans every single day. <laughs> you know, you get tired of it. But out there on the mission, and then you get something different every single time. And I definitely had my favorites. Like there, you go to a certain house, you're like, yes, yeah. Today we get to go and eat lunch with with this family or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, that's also a different thing about the culture. Um, the big meal of the day was lunch. It wasn't dinner. So like we, we'd have our big lunch, and then like just when we were out tracking or whatever, then uh, we'd just grab dinner ourselves like really quick or we'd have like a snack in our bag or something um yeah so eating habits were definitely a lot a lot different 